Hey everyone, I'm David Schloss, editor of Digital Photo Pro and Digital Photo Magazines, with a review today of the Blackmagic Video Assist. You know, one of the great things about digital cameras today is that they have amazing video capabilities. A consumer level camera will give you 4K video capabilities that are much better than even the best of the professional level video recorders of just a few years ago. One of the really lousy things about that though is that in order to frame and shoot your video, you have to use these teeny tiny little screens on the back in order to see what you're doing. That's great in some situations. If you're shooting a landscape, you probably don't really need to have really great sharp uh, critical focus. If you're shooting something like people, if you're shooting a talking head, if you're shooting something, for example, like a video review, you really want to make sure that you're focusing on your subject. So that's where something like the Blackmagic Video Assist comes into play. The Video Assist is both an external recorder and an external viewer for your digital still cameras that have video capabilities. So you simply connect the Blackmagic Video Assist to HDMI. It also has SDI uh, connections on it. And when it's connected to the camera, you can record directly to this device and you can view on this device. And so if we get a little bit inside right now and take a look at me talking to you on this video display you'll see that what it's doing is it's replicating what's coming out of the video port you'll also see that down here it's giving me the audio capabilities up here at the top it's showing me the timeline and it's giving me control over the recording capabilities of my camera that means that I can by myself sit here and stop and start my camera as I'm doing today or if I'm working with a crew I can let the crew have the secondary display while somebody else is pulling focus on the camera some really nice features about the uh, Video Assist. There's both an HDMI in and an HDMI out port, which means that the camera operator could use this, and then you could have a director with a secondary display taking a look at the footage and making sure that the actors are doing their lines properly. You can connect it to other HDMI devices. There's also an SDI port in, which allows you to connect with an SDI signal. Now, one of the really important things about video is audio, of course. And so right now, the way I'm connected to the camera is that I've got a wireless mic connected to my camera, which is then getting plugged into the side of my camera. There's then a headphone coming out of my camera, which somebody has to listen to. So there's a headphone port on here, which means that if you have a camera that doesn't have built-in audio out, something like the Sony a6300 or the Sony a6500, you can connect to the Blackmagic Video Assist and you can use the audio out on this in order to monitor your audio. Now one thing that I've noticed is that there is a little bit of a hum on the audio out on this unit and so if you're trying to set up your audio you hear a hum you turn things off you're not quite sure what's causing the hum it turns out that it's on this audio not on the master audio but that's something that if you know it's there that you can quickly work around one of the great things about the video assist is the built-in SD card slot so one of the things that this lets you do is you can record directly to the Blackmagic device. But when you're recording this, you can record it ProRes, which is an Apple format for video editing that's supported by things like Final Cut and other high-end video editing tools. That means that you don't have to take whatever the video format from the camera is and then convert it in order to edit in your video programs. For people who are working with professional video editing software, that's a big difference. So that gives you external ProRes recording capabilities at a higher quality level than the built-in reader in the camera is capable of doing. Other great things about it, you can either plug it in, which I'm doing right now, or you can put batteries on the back of it. If you're working in the field, the batteries are really great. You could be out shooting wildlife or landscapes and be battery powered and run for hours and hours and hours on this. When you're done with the video that was recorded, you simply pop out the card, you put it in your machine, it imports it. So there's two flavors of the Blackmagic Video Assist. There's a 5-inch version and a 7-inch version. The 5-inch version, unfortunately, is HD only. Now, if you're working in HD video, that's not a limitation. However, if you're working in 4K video, you're going to want the 7-inch version. Now, personally, I think that the 7-inch version is the better deal. It's more expensive, obviously, than the 5-inch version. However, what you're getting is built-in 4K display resolution, which means you can shoot 4K video and see it in native 4K on the display. So the 5 inch version is $495, the 7 inch version is $895, both of them I think are a fantastic deal. If you're just shooting occasional videos, you probably don't need something like the Blackmagic Video Assist, but if videos are a part of your workflow, if you're out shooting things on location, if you're out shooting weddings, if you're out shooting video interviews, you really do want to have an external video display and an external recorder. The Blackmagic Video Assist is one of the most affordable, it's also one of the most portable, and that gives it a lot of advantages. 
It can also mount to just about anything. It has multiple quarter inch ports on it, which means you can mount it to something like a tripod. You can get an adapter and put it on top of your camera. You can mount things on top of this, and so you could put your audio gear on top of this and make a very compact system. It also connects, obviously, to things like rails and to L brackets. The Blackmagic Video Assist is really one of the tools that I think are pretty indispensable for the videographer or the photographer just doing some video. If you want some more information about the Blackmagic Video Assist, you can check out their website. And if you want to see more of our review videos, you can check them out here on YouTube or visit us at digitalphotopro.com. Thanks so much.